Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am Angel with Halo Pix Photography. I am currently here in the city of Orange, California at Platinum Rides Motorsports. Now Platinum Rides is a car restoration, auto and body, and automotive repair. Um, today we'll be showing you a 1985 stock braking system and we'll be converting it to a C5 Corvette braking system. We're going from a one piston stock system to a two piston Corvette braking caliper with new rotors, a new braking um, brake pad. So let's go ahead and check it out and um, let's go inside. Now today I will be showing you the conversion kit between a 1985 El Camino regular braking system to a C5 Corvette braking system. It's going from a one piston caliper to a two piston caliper system. Now this is a very well known company and we're going to be putting this on this beast. Um, let's go ahead and make sure we um, also have all the hardware that comes with it so you got these new um, brackets and you also have the conversion brackets you have the um, steel braided cables for the for the fluid and we also have the ceramic brakes um, brakes now make sure you always go to your designated repair shop if you ever need to get these again they are very expensive to the individual buyer so we're also going to be replacing the rotor um, bigger caliper bigger rotor so let's go see how we're going to stop these huge of a beast let's go ahead and check it out let's show you the braking system and here's the rotor now if you can see it's pretty massive so let's go ahead and um check out what's what's gonna happen here all right guys boy well, right here you're supposed to remove the cover frame which i already removed um obviously you loosen up the nut as you can tell even if you take out the nut it's not gonna go no because it's stuck in there so the way I remove this thing is back up. Kind of like this, that's the thrust of the gotta switch. So that's how, that's how it goes out. That was quite easy. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. You remove the, you remove the cotton pin. You remove the nut. Cut the smacks. You can always just leave the nut. Because you know, every now and then you kind of missed and you hit the, uh, the tie rod, so you might mess it up. So you, you can leave the nut there for now, but there it is. Now next we're going to remove the caliper, which is uh, a 3 8 Allen head. Now you can see how tiny this little caliper is, single piston. And um, that's gonna have to go away. So it's a stock caliper. We can do the hang for now. Mm, looks like it's already turned. All right. Obviously, we got cutter pins up here, cutter pins down here, and those have to get removed too. Yeah, we're gonna remove the ball, lower ball joint because we gotta remove the spindle. We're gonna replace spindle on this car to uh, put the upgraded spindles. When you remove this one, don't take off the nut completely. Kind of just get it loose. One thing is that you gotta make sure you have a shock hooked up to it because you got the spring here. So uh, by having the spring, if you don't have a shock on it, when you take off this this lower ball joint, it's gonna snap that could hurt you pretty bad i mean because it could jump out and you know that that would hit you pretty hard so um just make sure you have a shock on it and um and right now we're going to remove this one see how you see how it popped um uh, the reason that's why we've left it up there now we're going to take the top off too Let's 
same crap. So now uh, I'm gonna lower the car. I'm gonna lower the car. I'm gonna put the floor jack in it. Can I release a little bit of the tension that it has in it right now? So I can remove this one. At this point, the ball joint's good. The little ball joint's a little bit loose. We're gonna recommend it. So now we're gonna remove the uh, brake line. Seven uh, sixteens on the back. This one you can grab it with a this like a five eighths. This line's usually they're kind of they're kind of stuck. You know the rust in them. So you might want to hit it with some PB, PBJ blaster. I kind of, to me, I think PB blaster works better than WD-40. Like it's way better. <laughs> I actually have to say yes to that, so. Now that I remember, we're gonna replace the, the little uh, I might want to put a container on the bottom because it's going to be leaking like that for a little bit. It's going to be releasing all the pressure from the um, lines it had, so. Not pressure, just fluid. Okay, fluid. There's no pressure in there. Alright, well, these are the replacement spindles out, uh, for the Corvette. You have to remove the, uh, the hub and the bearing. It's three bolts on the back. All right, so uh, we're gonna remove the spindles right now. Excuse me, not spindles, the hub and bearing. We gotta take this this one's off this one's off because uh, the new rotor is way too big so it's gonna hit on the uh, on the shield uh, with the kit they got this adapters just to compensate for the because uh, we're gonna take off that shield shield So, no shield when we put the new rotor on it. See, it doesn't hit. Um, if we put it on the one with, that has the shield in it, it's gonna hit. Right here on the back. So that's why they gotta get removed. So now the new spindles come in here. As you can tell, they're real far apart, but we gotta put this nut on first. Try 
trying to line up the uh, your retaining pin. The hole for the uh, for the cutter pin. Cutter pin. Put it down a bit. Not right there. Okay. There we go. And there it is. Not good. Just scratching the bottom as well. Hang on the top, so I mean, this it's not really a problem because the suspension is fully. It's gonna be moving up and down. No, well, not so much up and down. It's no, but you know what? They, Extend. It's fully extended right now. Keep going, keep going. There, right there. Now, without conversion kits, you will always have to make adjustments to the any suspension components. So. This is an easier way to um... Well, you can always cut the lip But right now we're bending it just because I don't want to I don't want to cut any material out of it And that's the upper arm Close to the ball joint, so I'm going to see if the number fixed it so, It's fully extended and A little bit more from back here. So we were having some binding issues between the spindle and the uh, upper arm obviously because it's different spindles so all we just stuck a pry bar in there bended the lip up created enough clearance for the uh, so we can move it around so now remember if you do end up doing this type of um, modification to your upper arm control arm um, make sure you don't crack it because if you crack it that's well, gonna be a replacement it, it won't crack but the only thing that you can you can actually damage might be the uh, upper ball joint and you can replace that but um the rotor we need the rotor in there because we got it comes with little spacers you got to space out the uh the bracket right all right so now that we figured that uh it's gonna take like about two washers to the thick ones the kit does come with blue blue loctite and let me let me tell you again blue loctite not not red one uh got some loctite in them to those and also these ones I'm gonna go put the bracket back on. All right, so new brackets. Um, the adapter bracket 
in the original bracket and this is what they provide you with. So. As you can tell right now, it's heading on the front. It's heading on the front and it's fully bolted on the back already. Not fully bolted, but I mean, it's mocked in there. So what needs to happen is we need to push this thing forward. Okay, so apparently it's gonna take like about, and here's a quick representation of what we're actually doing. So this actual item is situated as so. So each and every time we add one, we get to push it out and there's thin ones and there's thick ones so whatever it needs so it won't hit the actual rotor itself that's what he is doing in the back just adding until it has enough clearance which i believe it is um plus or minus 0 0.001 of an inch so let's continue Now also, what the washers are actually for as well. Now you have this bit of the bolt actually sticking out. Now you need to add some washers there. At the same time, com um, compensate by removing washers from here. That's what the thin and thick washers are for. So it's a, it's a puzzle that this should be flat. You add some here and then you add whatever you need here to clear the rotor you don't want the rotor to be damaged you don't want your braking to be um dangerous so it's a guessing game between how many do i need in here and how many do i need in here so enough to get rid of that and enough to push it out okay. so adapter bracket those in, obviously we put two washers in it uh, the adapter bracket has two sides uh, one that has a sunk in uh, ledge on it and the other one's flat uh, the sunk in ledge is gonna go going on the uh, outside like so uh, goes in there Here from the back. Yeah. That's why we double check everything. At the moment, we found out that um, two washers, two thick washers, was too much. So we're gonna go ahead and change it up again to a. Thin, thick washer and a thin washer um, don't tighten up everything until you are sure so all right so now we're gonna put the uh, I'm gonna pre-install this one on the on the caliper uh, came, came with new hardware they got a copper washer on top, copper washer on the bottom. So, one here. Put the other one here. And then we're gonna throw them on the caliper. I'm not gonna tie them up. I'm gonna leave them loose. Um, we'll get the brakes so we can pre. We fit. And then you see here, these are carbon fiber ceramic pads. So 
They're lightweight but very very durable, durable to heat. So let's get them installed. At this point, we just got to do the uh, brake line. I guess it comes with new brackets, and we got to replace them up here. The brake line is free, so. Time to update the hardware. What is it that you're looking at right now? Okay, what I'm looking at is uh, the original the original bracket brought the line to hook up right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the new lines, the braided lines that they brought, they're too long. They'll bind whenever I turn. You see, they're binding. Mm -hmm. So the idea now is. Uh, I mean, I can't put them on like this because they don't go like that. I can put them like this. And the bracket, the, the new bracket that they brought, the, the, uh, the kit, that's this bracket right here. Okay. Right there. Which will push the line up here. So that would mean you have to cut the. Um cut the. Uh, Brake line mm -hmm. and reattach it up here. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah. But I'm no mechanic. I know my way around it, but I'm no mechanic. No, you just gotta have the right tool, which we do. Uh, okay, how to fix it right now. No, it's a 17.
that's it. Oh, we still gotta bleed it. And I'm kind of not liking how still it wants to kink. Yeah, it does want to kink. Let's see what it does. I gotta check it out when it when the suspension's regular, you know, like compressed, because this thing is gonna go higher. It's not gonna stay there. So, if anything, you could always move the bracket well, a little bit more to the side, maybe. I think that's it right there. Though. Nice. So, this is the original, and we got the new one. Hey ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching our video on our C5 conversion kit. Unfortunately, we can't do the rear section. The differential is a little bit messed up. We have some grinded gears. We have some bad mounts and other little aspects of the differential we do not mount, want to mess with. The customer did take it back, they'll be dealing with it from now on. Now, I am, once again, I am at Platinum Rights Motorsports in the city of Orange. Go ahead and like their page. Go ahead and share their page and go ahead and subscribe and like this video. If you like these type of videos, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'll be making more. Now, this right now we do have a little bit of more work. We have the S550 here. We have the Chevy here. We have the Toyota Corolla here. We have a, a GT and a Porsche. We are a little bit busy, so um, if we any have any good videos coming up, any conversion kits, any new installation kits, uh, we'll go ahead and post them up. Once again, Platinum Rides Motorsports in the city of Orange. Their phone number would be 714-769-0360. Now go ahead and contact them for any of your auto and body, auto, auto restoration, any mechanical issues with your vehicle. They'll take care of it. It's a one-man shop. And um, hope everyone's doing good. Hit that subscribe button and um, I'd really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Angel with Halo Pix Photography and I say take care.